Hello everybody and welcome to a brand new project that I am starting today. This is Super Mario Sunshine. I am so excited to be doing this. Uh, the reason I am doing this, in case you are curious, is because of a poll that I put up on Twitter. Um, I asked you guys what you want to see me do. I put this up. There was Resident Evil. Um, I forgot the other options that I had on there, but I had a couple other games too that I really wanted to try out. And this is the one that won. Uh, I mentioned that I was kind of hoping Resident Evil would win just because I want to play that game on here at least once before Resident Evil 2 comes out. And so, you know, I was hoping just to knock that one out there. But honestly, I'm going to end up doing that game anyway. So I'm kind of glad this one won because now I have an excuse to play this game, whereas before I really didn't. Uh, so this is going to be an awesome series. I am such a fan of this game. I know, ironically, within the Nintendo's, this game is a bit polarizing. Travis has never really tried it or given it a shot. Nick does not like this game for whatever reason. You know, it's his opinion and I don't judge. Uh, whereas this is one of my favorite Mario games. I think Mario Odyssey might have beaten this one. Mario Odyssey pretty much beat everything ever. But um, but I like this game more than uh, Mario Galaxy, more than Mario 3D World, more than all those games. I think this game is just super well designed. I love the flood aspect of it. We're going to talk all about that as this project goes on. But for now, let's look at Sad Toads. It's alright, man. We're all gonna be okay. Oh, uh, this is the game where Princess Peach does literally nothing except have that existential stare on her face. That's like the depth of her character right there. <laughs> it's okay, you can speak. Okay, never mind. Too many shrooms, man. That's what the problem is here. Let me turn my fan down. Master Mario, if you would, cross over to that shore and I don't want it to get like, you know, super loud in the background. All right, let's do this. That was the intro of this game. Mario, be careful. I have a bad feeling about this. Yeah? I wonder why. Okay. Oh, I tried a long jump. Oh, what game do I think I'm playing? Wow, I went right for this ledge, didn't I? I think, honestly, that's the one thing people didn't like about this game was that uh, it didn't have a lot of the jumps and the mechanics that Mario 64 had. Because this was really like the first big Mario game after Mario 64, like first big 3D Mario game. And so like in Mario 64, you had like, you know, like the backflip jumps, the triple jump, the long jump. There was all kinds of mechanics. This game has most of those, but it doesn't have the long jump. And I know that was like a fan favorite. But again, once you have Flood, you can literally hover. So, you know, it kind of makes the long jump pointless. So I don't know why people complain about that. It only really matters in certain sections of the game that we'll get to later. But honestly, Flood is so cool, you know, and I get it. Like you wouldn't want Flood in like a Mario game every time because... It defeats the purpose of, like, Jumpman, but, I mean, for one game, it's a cool gimmick, you know? I like it. I'm going to be spending this whole series just, like, defending this game until I get to certain shines where I'm going to be absolutely crapping on this game and saying how garbage it is. There's a couple shines that are nasty. By the way, I should mention it now before we get too far in the video. This is not going to be a 100% run-through. Uh, like I always say whenever I record videos, I like the volume of games to be higher as opposed to the depth that I go into with the game. I want to beat a game from start to finish. I don't really care about doing all the extra stuff. I just like to show off the stuff I think is cool and then beat the game, you know? Because I could 100% the game, but then if I do that, there's going to be like 15, 20 extra episodes. And then uh, that that 15 extra episodes that I'm adding to this could be an entire series uh, on its own. You know, that could be my entire Resident Evil series. So I'm like, yeah, I could, you know, show this game off in complete depth. Or I could just show you the basics, beat the game, and then move on to another game, you know? And I've always been a fan of that, you know, doing less in this game, but showing off enough of it and then moving on to the next one. Uh, and granted, this game isn't really all that hard anyway. There's a couple of shines that are really nasty, but as a whole, this game is actually pretty simple. Okay, like this, for example. Literally a boss fight where I don't have to move one step. The boss literally has no attack. I mean, calling it a boss fight is kind of unfair, I guess. More of a challenge there. This is like my favorite part of the game, though, is like seeing the goop like clear up and then seeing the shine come out oh my god this is gonna sound so nerdy when i was a kid oh my god this is gonna gamecube was my system dude uh like everything i did was all for the gamecube um <clears throat> i used to make up challenges in real life or like you know little obstacle courses like around my house and my neighborhood and then i would pretend that there's like shine sprites i have to earn you know like maybe i'd be at the grocery store and the shine sprites like find three of this fruit or something you know or like collect this item or do blah blah blah, you know, and I used to like just do them in my head And then I would like say I got this shine sprite. I was such a nerd as a kid <laughs> But it was fun, you know, that's my life That's me in a nutshell guys 
I don't know what you're saying, man. There they come. Oh lord, I'm getting arrested again. Well, you know, I guess we earned that. How come no one at the crime scene was able to say like Mario didn't do it? As you are no doubt aware, someone has been senselessly defacing Fair Isle Delfino using some paint-like substance. The accused is charged with polluting our beautiful home and yes, endangering our very way of life. Indeed. Yeah, because you know, I, I just have like big containers of goop when I walk around, apparently. This is a witch hunt. I do not approve of this. Damn, that Shine Sprite Tower looks ugly. Looks like someone just dumped a bunch of tar on it. Behold this sketch of the perpetrator based on <laughs> eyewitness descriptions. Well, that looks like my drawings when I was a kid. The guilty party sits among us. It is none other than Mario. Objection! Overruled. It couldn't have been. Judge the defendant guilty as charged. What kind of trial is it? Where's my lawyer? What, uh, what happened to like, I, I, I don't know how courts work. What happened to like guilt, like freedom of guilty until proven? I don't know. I can't speak. Guilty until proven innocent. Innocent until proven guilty. That's what I meant to say. That's right. Is that like a corn next to me in here? I don't know what's going on. Yeah, apparently everyone hates Mario now. My uh, my life as we know it is done now. <laughs> Poor Mario. You witnessed this object at the airstrip, correct? It is a shine sprite. Shine sprite. A shine sprite. Power on Isle Delfino. They used to gather in the uh, shiny, look how beautiful that is. Gonna be honest, uh, that's like my favorite thing to do is to like clean it up and make the tower look like this again. That's why this game is the most satisfying game because it has all that nasty goop. Getting to like wash it off and like make the town beautiful and sparkly again is so satisfying. And that's something like Mario Odyssey doesn't even really have anything like, you know, where you're like cleaning something up and making something beautiful again, you know? That's kind of exclusive to this game. Kind of interesting. Sorry, I'm talking over Flood. Tomorrow we must do our best to resolve this situation. <laughs> yes, we shall. Do you uh, want to hear my... No. That wasn't even an explanation. You can't miss the mess now. Your first job's to get rid of all that ugliness. I don't like how they're... I just noticed their noses twitch. Look at the guy in the background. It's like he's got like a massive booger in there. Really unsettling. Yeah, so basically, uh, I know I was talking over a lot of that. General consensus is, Mario, you gotta clean all this shit up, man. And it's like, alright, I'll do it. See? But what Mario 64 didn't have was this. I mean, some people just hate that move for some reason, but honestly, it's kind of cool. Oh, Mario, you're okay after all. I just knew you would be. You know, I knew you'd be fine in prison fucking those men. Alright. Oh, it's the shape of a, not an octopus, a quadrupus. And why is the sky so dark, huh? It's not sun-drenched. I feel like when I try to talk as Peach, I just end up sounding like Toad. This is hardly my idea of a relaxing vacation, Mario. Stay out! I want to go home right now. All right, come on, princess. Stop being such a spoiled bitch. I was the one thrown in prison. Why are you the one complaining here? All right, let's free this guy, I guess. Well, honestly, like, there's not really a point to saving these guys. They do things sometimes, but... Most of the time, they're just kind of like, oh, thank you, thank you. And they'll give you, like, a coin or something. Sometimes they do give you one up, so, and it's kind of worth it. All right. This is my favorite one. I've always thought this stuff looks so delicious. God. I, th the, honestly, the most obnoxious enemy in the game is those guys. The little guys that pop up there. Because they, like, come at you from all angles. And they really grind my gears. You mother truckers. Boom. Ah! Okay, we got it. <laughs> that was close. So, we've done it. My man. And who knew? Apparently, this was hiding under that sludge all along. <laughs> Apparently, dumping some chocolate in the middle of the town can, like, hide a statue like that. Oh, there he is. See, how do you mistake that for me? Literally blue goop. See, there it goes. Princess Peach again, literally not doing anything. <laughs> 
It's like, oh, oh, it's him. Oh, he's off, dude. That that mother's off to the races. All right, just you take my girl. That's fine. Mario, you gonna let her steal your bitch? All right, come on. See, but he doesn't have the secret technique, the belly bounce. So he'll never escape me. Oh, here we go. This is what I'm talking about. You're not going nowhere, Shadow Mario. Oh, Lord. Okay, well, I, I messed. I screwed everything up. He's, uh, you know, he's not very good. Yeah, go ahead and wall jump off that wall. Ow! I like how just touching him hurts you. Okay, how much do I have to do this for? I just noticed that poor guy there. Is that guy like drowning them as he walks by? There we go. Ow, 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 ow! Not fair! Completely unfair! You shouldn't be allowed to use tours like that! I don't know why that's the voice I gave him, but it is. Oh, you look hurt, princess. Here. Have a do Oh, is he still going? Oh, I gotta go after him, huh? I just ignore the princess here? Mario, I'm sure I saw that person out on the airstrip. I'm positive he's responsible for this. See? Again, why didn't she say that earlier, princess? That would have been really nice to know, you know? You could have easily just said, hey, you know, I did this, but whatever. It's all good, princess. All right, I see him. I see, at this point, apparently he became invincible at some point along <laughs> throughout the day. All right, we've done it. He escaped into the graffiti. Try spraying it with water. Sorry, I had to answer a text real quick. I'm trying to figure it out. Man, I got... Okay, so... Uh... I, I honestly literally do not care about dating videos at all. So I'm just going to say what day it is. Just for future me, I guess. It is August uh, 18th today, right? August 18th. Nick is currently streaming Mario Kart. Uh, and I feel bad. I'm ignoring him. <laughs> he uh, messed it if I want to join some races. But uh, I'm, I'm doing this. I started doing this like right before I found out he was streaming. So I told him I'll try to join if I have enough time after this. But I really want to record this. And I never have time when I'm at home. Uh, so anyway, it's August... What did I say? Really? I just checked. 18th. And uh, to, uh, on Monday is the first day of school at the school I work at. I'm actually going to start substitute teaching, uh, which I'm super excited for. I've never actually, like, I've done some teaching, like, in a summer camp setting, but I've never actually taught. And I know substitute teaching is, like, nothing. But I'm super excited for that, you know? Something new in my life. Something, something fun, you know? Funny, because I guess that would make, well, because... I don't know how much I can spoil about people's private life, but Pat is a teacher uh, as well. He's a... I, I don't know if he's a teacher yet. I know he has some jobs, like, in schools and settings like that, but, uh, you know, he's studying to become a teacher and all that stuff, too, so... And a few of us, I guess, that are, like, interested in the field of education, you know? All right, let's see if I can time this good. I could just go underneath, but I don't want to. But anyway, yeah, I'm super excited. Uh, otherwise, I'm just doing the normal stuff, like I coach basketball, uh, things like that, so... The school I work at's first day is tomorrow. So I'm still on the school campus every day. I do, like, other, like, work, too. Uh, you know, whether it's just, like, watching kids or, you know, taking care of them after school, things like that. I don't know. I do a lot of different stuff. Oh, Lord. Oh, God. Oh, I'm, like, sitting. Am I glitched? I don't think I'm supposed to be standing on this thing. I think it's supposed to be hurting me. Anyway, I don't mind. Gives me a nice... Wow. All right. 10 out of 10 game. Look at this. Look at this mad clippage we got going on here. And dead. See? Oh, okay. Maybe I just wasn't deep enough in to get hurt. Okay, I'm really taking a lot of damage. Now that's a lot of damage. It's still a quote I got like stuck in my head forever. We've done it. The first shine sprite. I honestly... I wonder if we can just get up to PD right now and fight him. I, I know we can't. I don't know why I asked. I'm pretty sure that gets blocked off at some point so you can't get up there. Though... You know, the way speedrunning works these days, I'm sure there's some way I can make it up there. I think I have before, actually. Just messing around in this game. So now we got two Shine Sprites. So the way this series is going to work, um, you need 70 Shine Sprites to fight the final boss. There is seven Shine Sprites per world that you can get. I believe it's up to seven, because the seventh is always like... Well, I don't want to spoil what it is, but there's... Episode seven out of these is a certain thing that you have to beat in every world in order to unlock the final boss. So it's actually a little more than 70 Shine Sprites, I guess. Uh, unless you, like, totally route this perfectly. 
which uh, most people don't, and I probably won't either. Uh, we'll see. But the point is, you gotta do all those. If you do them, you unlock the final world, so that is what my plan is going to be. Good too. Um, I'm just gonna do those main ones. Uh, the extra shine spikes, there's a couple like really basic ones that I could go out of my way to get. But I'm like, they're so basic that I'm like, it's not even really fun to watch. Uh, but who knows, maybe I will, if I have extra time. I just wanna see. I, I like to keep these series to like 15 to 20 episodes. So if I feel like, you know, because depending on how long I want the episodes to be also, I think that's a big factor too, you know? Because I have no problem making these like 30 minutes long, but I also know other, damn it, other people might have a problem with that. Shoot. Really, I'm already messing up jumps. God, playing this reminds me of Spyro for some reason. I think I'm just excited because of the Spyro trilogy. I mean, it's not coming out soon. Uh, it's not coming out until November actually, but you know, I think just, I, I think I was reading about it earlier and I think that's what got me hyped for it, you know? Oh lord! There we go. Sweet. Alright, we're making our way downtown. Uh, chocolate goop. I don't know if I said it last time, but honestly, this always looked delicious to me. Like, if you served this, I would totally eat it. I've always thought they should make a Mario, like, dish based on this chocolate goop from Sunshine. I think that would be so cool. They could call it, like, they could make, like, a, a chocolate PD piranha plant. Mmm. That's hot. Okay, don't slide me. I actually was watching, I think the guy's name is VGChamp3000 uh, on YouTube. He's pretty famous, not like extraordinarily famous. Uh, I think he's best known for like making all those videos on can you beat Mario Odyssey without jumping, you know? Uh, but he also did one for this, like can you beat uh, Super Mario Sunshine with only without using the hover nozzle? Like you can use all the other nozzles, but just not this one. Can you help out with the big headed creature up there? You're the only one we can ask to lend us a hand. I know it's a pain, but can you think, why am I the only one you can ask? Literally, you could ask anyone else. Nice. Blue coin. I'm not gonna go out of my way to get all the blue coins, but if there's one right in front of me, might as well get it. Okay. This is what you get for making me do your work for you. Did I get him? I did get him. I got they just sneeze it out. Die, birdie. This is nice. But yeah, anyway, so the challenge was like to not use this nozzle at all. Which I've, you know, I've, I've had to use quite a bit in order to get around certain traps here. Hi, PD. Looking fancy, aren't you? You're gonna be in the new Smash Bros. game as the next playable character? Lord, hope I hope not. Oh, stop moving! <laughs> I love this. Like they both just awkwardly look up at each other. It's perfect. All right, here we go. Apparently, that fall doesn't you know affect us in any way, shape, or form. But that's fine. Yeah. All right, no, stop it. Okay, she's so gotta wait for her to open her mouth. I, mean, I think the consent is that Petey Prawn is a girl, right? I think that's like a known fact now. Damn you! I'm telling you, these guys are freaking obnoxious. I guess if I just clear up all the goop, they'll be gone forever. Okay, ready? Spit your stuff at me. Come on, open your mouth. That's the most annoying thing about the PD Piranha fight is like he takes forever to like do that, you know? Because you have to wait for him to open his mouth. Damn it! I'm trash right now. This is the easiest boss fight in the game too, except for those like little guys out there. There we go. And then his belly button gets big, I guess. I guess all the water in this guy's stomach goes right to his belly. Sounds really painful. Ooh, I like that. Smack yourself. Be ashamed in who you are. You're just a fat, ugly flower. No one could ever love you. It's actually, you should be able to get it like all in one go. See, like that. That's what you should do if you're good at the game. I'm just not. Oh Lord. And Bubba Kadoosh. I think it takes three hits. It's the, it's the rule of Mario. The three hit rule. I think he's gonna make Goop come out now too, isn't he? There you go, there you go. Oh, he, he doesn't. He's not phased at all. You honestly, you'd think water on a flower would not be the most useful technique. But I guess in this world it is, you know? It seems like, I, I guess you're overfilling it though, I guess is the idea, right? There we go. Yeah, I guess the idea is like you're overwatering it. So I guess that's why it gets all bloated and stuff. But I'm like, it, wouldn't it be weak? Isn't that how Pokemon works? Like it's not very effective against grass types, whatever. There it is. 
The lovely shine. Shines. Wow, I landed perfectly on top of it. I did not think I would. I'm like a speedrunner, man. What's going on here? Hey, everyone, like and follow my Twitch channel. Mike speeds really fast. Where you can watch me speed really fast. Sweet. Okay, I'm going to try to squeeze in uh, another shine sprite here. I mean, most of them are really short. Ooh, I could go do that, but I'm actually going to wait. I want to try to get all the shines in this world foist. And then I'll go and do that. Like, I'm, I'm probably not going to do all in one episode. That would be extraordinarily excessive. But, you know. The hillside cave secret. Yes, so these are the levels that I was talking about earlier where it kind of matters with the launch jump. I'll show you. Like I said, I like to assume that you watching this are going in blinds. Even though, if you have not played Mario Sunshine, I don't know what's wrong with you. Also, if you have not seen... If I'm the first Super Mario Sunshine Let's Play that any of you have seen, please let me know because I would feel so great. Because literally every YouTuber out there has done this game in Mario 64. Like, I think, like, Chugga Conroy, Nintendo Covery Sun. Um, that's all I got. <laughs> but uh, a lot of them, you know, all those YouTubers have pretty much done this exact game. So, and, and so many more, I'm sure, that I just, you know, can't think of. I just say those ones because those are the only ones that I've seen them play it. So, point is, this game is like, done so much. Hillside Cave, I'm going the total wrong way right now. I was going to the other one, the lakeside one. Oh, swim faster, Mario. I always thought doing this sped you up, but I don't think it does. Oh, now I think it does, actually. Actually, yeah, it does. I was like, no way, but yes way. Anyway, I think we get to use a special nozzle to get there, but maybe not. Maybe not yet. Actually, I could probably could just climb this pole over here. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. So, uh, so many YouTubers have done this. So, if I'm the first one you've ever seen do this, uh, I would be so... That would be, like, the best compliment I've ever gotten. So, feel free to let me know, because if you want to make my day... But don't lie to me. I, I'm a man, okay? I'm assuming if you're watching this, you've already seen a Super Mario Sunshine Let's Play. Okay, how do I get up there again? I could go the long way, but there's, I know there's a short way. Uh, hmm, there it is. That's how we get there. I was going to say, I have played this game before. I know what I'm doing, I swear. It may not always look like it. That's just I'm bad. Nice. There we go. Okay. Whoa! Son of a biscuit. That's why I get used to this, guys. Get used to me failing at platforming. It's honestly, I feel like it's been kind of a while since I played a platforming game, a 3D platformer. Because uh, I've been playing a lot of Shovel Knight lately, which is a platformer, but it's a 2D platformer, so it's a lot different than this. So, like, depth perception is a lot easier, because, uh, you know, you don't really need depth perception in 2D platformers. So, as also, this controller is not good. Uh... Because I don't know if you noticed, they're like, sometimes the buttons will, like, just not respond. So I feel like I'm going to be floating like this, and then it's just not going to work for me. That's why I'll take the hit. There we go. Okay. Almost there. Yeah, that's all I had to do. See, it's not that hard. And it's just, I'm garbage. That's all. I love, like, these planes, too. T see, that. That's the thing. Is like, it totally does not seem like an area you're supposed to be. Uh, but, you know, it is. So. All right, so... Off we go into this world, this lake, uh, hillside secret, whatever. So this is what happens in here. Shadow Mario takes your nozzle. This is why I say the jump matters here, because you don't get to use your hover nozzle. Or your, any nozzle, for that matter. Uh, that's why people like these missions a lot, though. Some people say these are, like, the best parts of the game because of that. Because it's, like, it's like actual classic Mario, you know? Which is cool. That's what I'm saying. This game has... See, it's doing it again, my remote. I need to get a wire controller. The only problem with the wire controller is, like... Welcome back to Mario Sunshine, Michael. That was the first death of the series. Good lord. I'm going to have to grind for lives later, too. Because I don't want to be getting game overs after we start everything. I'm hoping this series can just go by and be smooth. But uh, knowing me, it's not going to be. God, Mario. These stress me out, dude. God! I am. Why am I so bad? I just have to trust myself. I, I think I'm just so rusty. It's this controller scares me is what it is, you know, I, I'm sorry That's gonna be my excuse all series long, but uh, this controller just stresses me out because it does it, it has so much lag input Maybe this is what Mario Sunshine was like. I don't know. It could also just be that and that I am just using it as an excuse. Oh God Okay, I want the camera to pan up. That's what I want. Yes, okay God, there's so many blocks and I'm so nervous to do anything 
There we go. Okay. Actually, this angle is pretty garbage. Yeah, okay. Ooh, God. Hey, this is like the easiest mission ever, and I'm so stressed. Do I want that one up? No, I don't. I'm gonna die trying to get the one up, and that's not worth it. There we go. Okay, we got it. Uh, so that's gonna be it for this episode, guys. We got four shine sprites. They're gonna speed up, obviously. We had a lot of cutscenes at the beginning of the game. So that's, you know, obviously why we didn't get as many shine sprites as I would like. Uh, but in future episodes, we're gonna start gathering up a lot more shine sprites. We're gonna work our way toward the end of this game. I promise as the game goes on, I will get better at it. I'm not gonna be trash the whole time. Uh, if you liked this episode, let me know in the comment section below so I know if this series is even worth continuing. Um, let me know if you like the length of the episode, if you want them shorter, longer. Uh, I'm going to adjust things to make you guys happier, so just let me know. Uh, thanks everyone for watching. Bye-bye.